Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and in this session we are going to understand and learn and work with workflows. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will start from scratch and we will go up step by step. So workflows is a very interesting section in our configuration file and this is what will help us to control how our jobs will run okay so we have already seen some configuration files config.yml files in the earlier session where we have seen a workflow section so if i just go and see our last configuration that we worked with you can see there is a workflow section here okay and here we start by saying workflows colon and then we give the name to the workflow and then we say jobs and then we list all the jobs that we have to run and it will run accordingly as we give the jobs here okay so workflow in circle ci will help us to control how our jobs run so you can think of it as a director telling different jobs when to run and what depends on what which job depends on which other job and what is the sequence of running the jobs so uh let's do a demo and you can do hands-on along with me we will update our config.yml file and we will add some workflows okay so let's see this config.yml file here we have jobs we have a build job here where we are uh, running this command eco building then we have a test job where we are running this command eco testing and then we have the workflow section now here you can see we start by workflows we give the name to the workflow here and then we start adding our jobs first it will we have listed the build job and then we have listed the test job and here we are also saying that the test job requires the build job so it makes it sequential that means it will always first run the build job and then only run the test job because the test job depends on the build job so let's try this and i have this here this is our config i will copy this and paste it here now instead of uh, just overriding my existing config.yml what i'll do is i'll uh, rename this one i will press f2 and rename this as let's say config2.yml and then i will create a new file config.yml and I will paste this here okay now here uh, if you find any errors make sure that you are using the correct YAML format one way to do it is you can just go to Google and search for uh, YAML formatter and you can if you're using VS code you can also use the extensions so you can use some online tools like this and then you can copy this one and paste okay okay so here i will now go to this folder so let me just go to this project folder and i will open this in git bash or you can just go to terminal or open in terminal we have uh, seen all this in earlier session so we have to basically go to git bash or our command prompt and go to the location of the folder from where we can run the git commands so i will say git status and of course there are some changes so i will say git add dot to add all the changes for committing and then i will say git commit minus m and give a commit message updated config dot yaml and then after this we will push the changes so for that we will say git push origin main and this should push to our repository on github and it should also run our pipeline okay 
So you can see it is running and you can see we have build and test two jobs here. Okay. So this is running our pipeline here. And I can also, you can see build is done. And now it will start test. Test is also done. And this is how it has executed. If you want, you can uh, check the details by going here to the job. And you can see here it is first running this job and then the test job. So as we have mentioned here. Okay. So the workflows, this section workflows this defines a workflow block then this is the name of the workflow you can give any name to your workflow and then we say jobs where we give the list of the jobs and then if we have to add any dependency we say requires that means this test job requires the build job that means the build job will run first and then the test job so this will make this sequential execution okay now let us see uh, three job workflow build test and deploy okay so here you can see we have our build job here then we have test job and then we have the deploy job and in the workflow we are saying build and test requires build and deploy requires test so this will first run build and then test and then deploy okay so and here you can see we have also mentioned a version. Now this version is different from the version that we mentioned at the top of the config file. This means that we are using the second version of circle CI workflows. Okay, so this is the version of the workflows and this version two supports multiple jobs in a single workflow. So we have a single workflow and we are running multiple job. It also supports job dependencies using the requires keyword here. And then we can also do parallel execution. If you don't the add dependency, it can also run in parallel. Okay. So we can also add a version here. Okay. So let's try this. So I will go to my config.yml file. Okay. And again, uh, just to make sure I do not lose any earlier data, I am going to change this name and I will add a new config.yml file. And here I will copy this. I have written this here. So this is what I will get it from here and add it here. All right. And now I will go back to my git bash and run the earlier commands. I am hitting the top arrow, up arrow to go to the earlier command. First, I will say git status. And yes, we have to add the changes git add dot. And then I will say git commit and then finally we will push the changes and if I now check here go to the pipeline so it is running you can see it is running three jobs build test and deploy and it is running sequentially first build once build is completed then it will start test and when test is completed it will start deploy okay now we will also see what happens if we don't add the requires keyword or we don't add the dependency okay so i will go back and let me just copy this i will say copy and paste and I will rename this to 4 and this I will rename to config.yml ok so this is what will this is what it will take for running so now here I will go to the 
workflow section and I'm just removing this requires block okay and here also I will remove this okay so now we have build test and deploy three jobs all right and again I don't need this columns and I will go back to commit and push the changes I am I will say git status I am pressing the up arrow to go to the earlier commands git add and git commit and I will say git push origin main okay so let's see what happens this time so you can see now all the three jobs are running in parallel okay test deploy and build all have started in parallel okay two of them already completed and then deploy also is running here so you can see this is how you can using workflows we can run our jobs in sequential or in parallel and if I just check my github repository this is my repository so you can see all the changes are coming here okay so this is adding all our changes here all right so this is how we can use workflows so we have already seen we can use workflow to define the order in which the jobs will be run in parallel in sequentially or we can also have some conditions okay so we have already seen the parallel and sequential execution so here you can see this will run both the jobs in parallel and this will run in a sequential way first job one because job two depends on job one and then job two okay and for this we use the requires keyword we have already seen that so you can do hands-on with this and you will see a lot of uh, things you can do with workflows you can define the order you can add the conditions okay if you just uh, search for circle ci workflows you will go to this uh, workflow orchestration page of circle ci documentation and here you can see uh, concurrent job execution how you will do concurrent job execution we have seen that and if you want to do sequential we will add the requires keyword we have seen this then uh, you can see a lot of things fan in fan out job dependency then configure or an approval job so we can also have a approval job okay so you can check this there are a lot of things we can do with workflows okay and here are some links which will help you as you are working with circle ci okay, so the first one is the circle ci discuss so this is the circle ci discuss forum here you can uh, log in with your circle ci account and you can see a lot of discussions if you have any questions you can also add your questions and you can discuss on that so here you can see different topics are here and you can also see based on categories announcements apis build environments deployments all these are here okay and you can see all these upcoming events suggested topics all this is here so you can also check here if you face some issues you can always come here and you can see if there is any topic related to what you are facing and then you can see the discussion if not you can always create new discussions okay so you can also find answers ask questions and connect with the community here also you can go from go to documentation from here so you can see we have a link for documentation feature requests and support pages also you can go from here then this is the github repository this is the circle ci public github repository you can come here and see all the updates and you can also see different repositories if you are creating any project you can take help from here then this is the configuration reference page so this can be very handy to work with your config files you can see here we have details about all the sections of a config files okay so executors jobs and you can see all this information here okay then you can see here workflows so different options for workflows everything you can check here okay so this is what all you can do with all these links and this will help you a lot with your circle ci 
i hope this was very useful if you have any questions if you want to discuss anything with me you can let me know in the comment section i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning